Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the All-Gracious, All-Merciful. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers and uh, dear uh, attendants and dear audience. I'm so uh, pleased to be at your service, inshallah, to talk about uh, some other uh, topics and episodes in the issue of communications and also the propagations. In our previous discussion, we were talking about major theories of communication uh, studies and communication theories. We pointed out to cultivation theory, agenda setting theory, the spiral of silence. And today we will talk about some uh, new theories which are somehow interesting to know. Um, one of the other theories which are important for all of us to know is the media ecology theory. You know, uh, as you know, ecology refers to uh, the environment. According to media ecology, hypothesis that individuals are shaped by their interaction with media. And that communication and media profoundly affect how individuals view and interact with their environment. So it is uh, very clear according to this, to this theory that the media makes the environment. The media creates the environment. And those who live in this environment, their mind and their mentality and their culture and their lifestyle will be shaped according to this ecology and to this media ecology. This is very important to know. If you, go, if you look at one society and you see that the lifestyle of that society is first similar to each other, their wishes are similar, their homes, if you go to their homes, to their houses, you see that they are, they're, the shape of the rooms and the kitchen and etc. are very similar. They are following or they are wishing to have a certain kind of facilities. Be sure that they are under the effect of the mass media. This is the mass media which doctrinates on them that you have to follow this lifestyle. You know, it is very uh, important. This media ecology, as it is uh, helpful, it is likewise at, at the same time very dangerous. Okay, what happened that after 50 years, after 60 years, you see that in European countries, I have at least traveled for more than 10 times to different countries in the Europe, in the German-spoken countries, in Scandinavia, in Norway, and etc. I saw the lifestyle. Their lifestyle has been changed in 60 and 70 years. Even the churches are unhappy of that. If you, I have talked to many priests, I have talked to monks, I have talked to uh, some bishops. They are very unhappy and they are unpleased of the happenings that, and the lifestyle of the people. What happens to the society that you see that you know, the relationship between human beings are very similar to the animals. There is no formula, there is no standard. People make love with one another just by going to one restaurant. And there is no rules for that. It is as if that there is no religiosity here. People are like uh, ro robots, okay, from the morning, from dusk to dusk. They go work and come back. And like a machine, they do their daily life. But the heart, you know, the spirituality, the ethics, you know, you know the, the religiosity, that connectedness to the metaphysics, 
to a spirituality, to God the Almighty, is not that much shown up. Okay, I I believe that there are good rules. You know the etiquettes. There are good etiquettes. You know, you don't see robberies. You don't see that much crime. You don't see that things. But it doesn't mean that necessarily they are. This is religious. This is mostly of the fear of the police. What happens, for example, in I don't name the country, but it is one of the superpowers, if not the head. There is a blackout. Okay, the the electricity was disrupted. Just in one night, thousands of the supermarkets were robbed by the people because there wasn't any policeman. There wasn't a light. It was a blackout. And people attacked the supermarkets and they thieved many things they wanted. The same people at the daytime when there is police, they don't do anything. They are very stylish and they go, not, nothing happened. Because they don't have that inside police. You know, they don't have the spiritual police, religious police. My discussion is not this. I wanted to talk about that how comes that the lifestyle and the um, shape of the life of the people and even the individuals and the people and the persons themselves are changed today by the uh, media. So according to this theory, it says that after a long term, the lifestyle, the, uh, the characters, the personality, the belief system of the people will be changed according to media ecology and the media doctrination and the media as a matter of, as, as a matter of like points. So this was again one of the other important uh, important actually uh, uh, theories of media. The other theory of the media is uh, the semi semiotic theory of the media. One expression, media semiotic theory. According to the semiotic theory, communication characteristics such as words, images, gestures, and situations are always interpretive. All sign systems entitled to be read or interpreted, regardless of form, may be referred uh, to as text. In the study of semiotics, there is no such thing as a literal reading. You know, uh, according to this uh, semiotic theory of the media, uh, it says that all the body languages that we have talked about profoundly about this issue in previous discussions, that gestures, looks, facial expressions, your body language, your looks, the style of your eyes, your eyebrows, and etc. are very interpretive. The way you sit on the chair is interpretive, meaningful. If you put your one foot on another when you are meeting a very important person, for example, the president of the university, it is very insultive. It is not good. You have to sit very politely. When you, for example, put your one f uh, foot on another, it means that I, I'm not that much caring about you. It is very uh, relaxed atmosphere for me, and I will do what I wish, and my decision is important. This is very interpretive. Or, as we talked profoundly um, in, our, uh, in the issue of the interpersonal communication and talking about the uh, body language and the uh, effects and the uh, skills you need to be effective in the audience, we have shown that, for example, sometimes one thing which in my field of experience 
is uh, meaningful for me is not meaningful for the others some, and sometimes it is insulting showing thumb for example in some eastern countries including Iran is a sign of, is insulting but in the for example western countries in, or in other countries it is the shown of victory so the same is true that uh, sometimes uh, one culture which is good in one country it is very uh, demonized by the uh, other countries so this is one of the other uh, theories of communication that we talked about so up to here uh, we have talked about cultivation theory about agenda setting theory about uh, a spiral of silence about media ecology about the semiotic theory or media semiotic theory and the effects of the gestures on the interpretation of the media in addition to the models that we talked about about the last well model the Wilbur Schramm model we talked about the uh, Shannon and Weaver model we talked about uh, helical model Eugen White's model, and etc. All of them we have pointed out, and they are very important. In continuation of the theories, we have other types of, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, theories. You know, most of the theories that we are talking about are classical theories. We have some classical theories, and also we have modern theories. Now, we, uh, mostly we are talking about that classical theories that are very fundamental for all of us to know. There is one, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, theory on the uh, mass communication that is called mass media, uh, Soviet, sorry, Soviet media communist theory. Or Soviet communist theory this theory is uh, derived from the ideologies of uh, Marx and Engels that and that says the ideas of the ruling classes are the ruling ideas it was uh, it was thought that the entire mass media was uh, s saturated with uh, bourgeois ide uh, ideology, Lenin uh, thought of private ownership as being uh, incompatible with freedom of press and that uh, modern technology's means of information must be controlled for enjoying effective freedom of press. This theory advocates that the sole purpose of mass media was to educate the great masses of workers and not to uh, give out information. The public was encouraged to give uh, feedback as it was the only way to, that media would be able to uh, cater to its interest. You know, according to the Soviet communist, communist theory of the media, as we pointed out, it says that the ruling classes' ideas are the main ideas that are run by the media. So, in general meaning, not just pondering upon the Soviet Union, if, for example, the ruling idea of one country is based on secularism, all the people will be secular undoubtedly because they government is running the media they are controlling the media so they are running the mind of the people you know and this is very important to know there is one hadith from imam ali alayhi salam that annasa ala din muluke the religion of the people is the religion of their leaders or their kings, and etc. 
if the leader of one country is religious, the people will be religious. And likewise, go on. And similarly, you can compare it to other situations. Okay, so if you want deeply change one country, the mentality of one country, you have to go and change the mind of the elites or the elites or the leaders of, the, of those societies, the university professors, the governmental bodies. If you change their minds, it is as if you change all the country's minds. There are some proverbs that if you want to go and see the, uh, for example, the uh, father of the family and change the family. If you talk to the father of the family, the ch family will be changed. If you go and talk to the head of one tribe, all the members of the tribe will be changed. And it has happened during the history, you see that uh, when our imams or the prophets or anyone wanted to um, pay allegiance, if they wanted to change the mind of the, um, for example, one tribe, they used to call the heads of the tribes, not the members of the tribes. So they changed the heads' minds so the people will be changed. According to, Soviet, uh, to the Soviet media communist theory, the ideas of the ruling classes are the ruling ideas. Okay, so this is one of the other uh, theories of uh, mass media communication theory. There is one other important theory which is called magic bullet uh, hypodermic uh, theory. What does it say? Of course, uh, I have to here in this text they are brought together, but I have to say that uh, in other books the magic bullet theory is different from hypodermic theory. What they say, what they, what are they talking about? You know, in magic bullet theory, it says that the effect of the media is like the effect of a bullet. When the bullet is shot from the gun, and it uh, gets the target, okay, how much is the effect of that? bullet immediately kills or injures the person as if that person falls down and cannot move and sometimes that injury because of uh, you no know, bleeding will lead the person to be dead according to this theory he says that sometimes the effect of the media is like a bullet when they you no, know, for example, from the broadcast center, from the news agencies, from the uh, TV channels, from the TV corporation, I don't know, from any point. When they send a picture, it is as if that they send a bullet. When that picture, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, hits the person, okay, it will affect immediately. It is very. It has very immediate effect on the address and on, on, on the person. That person is the uh, target of that bullet. So it says that you know, according to this group of hypotheses, you know, in uh, in the theories of communication, we have two main theories. One theories are emphasizing on the greatness of the effects of the media. And the other group was, are talking about the uh, very less amount of the impact of the media on the society. These groups are always talking about that people themselves are affecting each other. But the first group are talking about the media and they say that media are influencing the people. And I think this is very uh, somehow near to the reality. You see that in everyone's home there is one TV channel and they are, there are internet connectivity, Wi-Fi's. 
you look at the new third generation of the web surfers uh, they are using i don't know vibers whatsapp lines telegram and etc okay so everyone have these things on their mobile and their cell phone so we cannot claim that for example it is not uh, happening so according to this uh, magic bullet theory magic bullet theory uh, we have to pay attention that it has the great impact on the audience and if you want to affect the audience you have to use mass media mass media is very very important mass media communication is of very great importance in hypodermic theory or hypodermic injection theory of the media they say that the effect of media is like uh, injecting a serum or ampulla on the body if you look at the uh, serum you know that when you inject the serum the drops of the serum are going to your uh, vessels to your veins okay and will be mixed with your blood and you don't feel anything but after one hour when you get your awareness you will see that one liter of serum is in your body and you didn't feel that it says that the effect of the media is the same is likewise sometimes the media and not sometimes always media are affecting on the mind of the people in a long run in long term and after one year two year one decade you will see that uh, you are on the complete domination of media and all your life all your family members are on the occupation of the media and you didn't feel that issue until next program and until next session that I will talk about uh, also other theories of mass communication. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.